Hello, my name is Annie and today I'll be talking about things that you need to bring when you are moving into a dorm. I'm guessing that all of us want to keep our room tidy, clean, but good looking at the same time at low price. We don't want to spend too much money on unnecessary stuff just to make it look good for a year. So I came up with a list of items that you need to buy to keep your room clean and tidy. And this video is sponsored by Ide Wow. And they do sell a lot of cool stickers, but they not only sell these, they also sell a lot of things that university students need. So make sure you click into the link and look at what things that they provide to see what you want. It's pretty fun shopping there because they do have a lot of cool innovative stuff that I never thought of. The first thing you need to get is organizers or baskets. For example, you might have clothes, makeup, paper from classes, and miscellaneous stuff that you just have. So you need a space to store all of those stuff. For clothes, a lot of dorms comes with a drawer and a closet. So you can buy some clothes hanger for your closet. But for socks and undergarments, you usually want to separate them from the other pile of clothes. So what I did is after I finished using tissue boxes like this, I cut this part out and then used this as the basket itself. That way you wouldn't use too much money and this tissue is something that you always use. For makeup, you can do a similar thing with tissue boxes, but I also have a lot of boxes laying around. So that's when I cut this open as well. And as you can see, it's kind of messy. But sometimes people have a lot of skincare stuff, makeup stuff. So that's when I recommend you guys to just go to Walmart or Dollarama and they do have a lot of organizing stuff. For example, I have quite a few stuff here. And this was the makeup. This is the makeup organizer that I use. and. It is pretty compact. This is a pretty nice um, organizer for me because it's not makeup oriented, but I can make it organized in however way I want. That's a good thing about buying it from other places, but just keep in mind that that costs money and we want to save up money. So as long as if you guys are fine with spending some money to get an organizer, that's fine. But as I said, you can use tissue boxes to make basket. You can use other boxes to make baskets as well. I really recommend you guys to use tissue box as a DIY basket because they come with so many shapes and so many patterns that really can fit your room as a decoration as well. The next thing is to buy or bring, please, plastic folders. So one thing that you need to know is that in university, even if you use tablet to write down notes, teachers might still give you worksheets to fill out on paper. So if that's the case, then you kind of need to have something to store all those papers because eventually you will need to use them. So that's when I recommend you guys to get plastic folders or paper tray. I would only recommend paper tray if you are planning on writing a lot on paper because if you're not using a lot, then there's really no reason for you to get it. Keep in mind that paper tray requires you to have screwdrivers because you would need to assemble them. If you don't use a lot of paper, then what I recommend is plastic folders. But Canada, for some reason, they don't have plastic folders. I have no idea why, but I went to Shoppers, Drug Mart, Dollarama, Walmart, and I couldn't find plastic folders. So if you're coming from Asia, make sure you get some of these because you will miss them. And for miscellaneous stuff, just like throwaway stuff that you just have or maybe letters that you have or maybe the plastic bag that held other stuff, if you have that and you want to keep them for future uses, make sure you have like a big basket that you can just store everything. For example, I have this really big bag, box. Oh, it's so heavy. Ah, I have this really big bag with a lot of like things that I don't need but I have from university. The next thing I would recommend you to get is mirrors. They will always have mirror in the bathroom but Sometimes you don't want to go all the way to the bathroom just to do your makeup or just to look at yourself or check yourself out, you know? What I recommend you is to get a small mirror on the desk. If you have a small mirror right next to your makeup stuff, it's a lot easier for you to do makeup. So this is the mirror I got. Hello?
Okay, so in my dorm, I didn't have my own small mirror and I realized how convenient it is to get your own mirror and put it next to makeup. The good thing is that it also comes with this tray on the bottom for you to put like accessories, like small rings and stuff like these on the ground, just like that. And it's really convenient for me to just do my makeup and stuff like that. It is most likely the case that when you just arrive in your dorm, you will be very tired. You probably had a long hour of flight and if you came alone, then you had to hold those heavy luggages upstairs or wherever you had to go. So what I recommend you guys to do is to order it on Amazon and just ship it here because that will be the easiest way for you to just settle down as fast as possible. For me, I pre-ordered all the things I need for bed. Bed sheet, mattress cover, blanket, pillow, pillowcase. It really helped me a lot because I had to go outside again to buy other stuff as well. Like shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and like towels and stuff. So what I recommend you to do is to just pre-order them because you will need them anyway and just save a lot of time and energy for yourself. One good thing that comes with ordering in Amazon is that they're probably gonna give you a big box. And with that big box, you can store it for your future uses when you are moving out. And you can use that for your DIY table. Here's my DIY table. I made this table with the Amazon table, uh, Amazon boxes, and it was very sturdy. So I really recommend you to use the things that you already have to make the most out of it. Another thing that you need to get is hangers. Well, yes, I'm talking about clothes hanger too, but I'm mostly talking about hangers for your bags and stuff like that because you're not going to have a lot of space. So the best thing you can do is to use the vertical space that you have and to hang a lot of stuff there. That way, it will be a lot easier for you to utilize all the spaces you have. A lot of my friends had like a vertical hangers to put their bags on top. That was a really good way to save up space. But one thing that you need to remember is that you can't make a hole on the wall. Another thing is you can't peel the paint. So what I did is to kind of like lose its stickiness but kind of like keep tapping on it and then put it on and off a few times. It will still be sturdy, but it's not going to peel the paint off. Another way to expand your space is to loft your bed. So you can ask your university if they do that, but when you loft the bed, you have so much space on the bottom. That way you can put your suitcase in and the boxes that you store from Amazon in. You can also put like a big storage bin under the bed and then just cover it with a long bed sheet or something because that way it's gonna make it look more organized. So if you have a chance to loft your bed, do so because that's gonna create a lot of space for you to store a lot of stuff. If you're wondering how to decorate your room, please let me know in the comments below and then I will try to make videos on it. Thanks for watching!